he smashed me. First of all, Malimo, um, you raped me. Hey guys, listen here. Thank you so much for joining me on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, guys, my name is Penrose, and if you're interested in this video, please stick around, guys. Guys, since it's a Sunday, I want to tell you, grab your wine, grab your, you know, whiskey. I'll just respect the Lord and say, grab your coffee, grab your juice, and grab your water, and just maybe your popcorns, you know, something to snack on whilst we listen to the story. Guys, Malema Maruhanya says that he was actually framed for this because, guys, we woke up. This is like a Sunday, guys. We needed to rest. We needed to cook uh, nice lunches for our families. But we are here. We are here, guys, because we don't want to miss on this beautiful Mgosi, guys. Yo, guys, we woke up to Jub Jub and uh, uh, Amanda Dupont trending. The reason is because, uh, yo, guys, this case is not going to end anytime soon. Yeah, Malema Maruhanyi says that uh, who's actually widely known as a Jub Jub has poured cold water over allegations of rape leveled against him. Maruhanyi, who's out on 10,000 rand bail for rape attempted murder, screams his innocence in a statement he submitted to police ahead of his trial in November. In the statement seen by one of the detectives uh, investigating the case, Maruhanyi denies he raped and attempted to kill his ex-girlfriend, Amanda Dupont. Malema says that, uh, like Amanda Dupont, uh, allegations are just malicious. She's just trying to destroy him, you know, and uh, frame him for a murder that he did, a crime rather, that he didn't commit. Dupont, who's also a former a skin sum actress, opened a case of a case of rape and attempted murder against Maruhani almost 20 years after he allegedly violated her. The way a Jola 99 presenter's explanation is that he went to a popular show, Podcast and Chill with Maggie, and alleged that he smashed Dupont while they were dating. So most probably Dupont didn't take this kindly and saw it as like a you know, tainting her, tainting her good name. Because according to her, Maruhan is just trying to make her look like a loose girl, guys. And uh, what actually made this uh, relationship to end was because Jub Jub, uh, whilst he was still dating Dupont, he also got to date uh, Kelu Kumalo. I think maybe that actually made uh, uh, Dupont to actually... Have a serious dislike for uh, Jub Jub. That's why maybe she doesn't want to at all be associated with him. Because guys, it does happen. There is a detective who didn't want to be named because he's not allowed to speak to the media. He said the former love bears love met in 2006 through a friend, a friend named Riley Mampeule while Maruhani was performing in St. Johannesburg. The following day, he phoned Dupont, who invited him to her residence. Shortly after the visit, they started dating and later moved in together, said the detective. The cop also shared that uh, her mother visited their place and on such occasions she requested Jub Jub to neatly pack his clothes so the mother would notice they were living together, guys. Do you hear this? The detective also shared that Maruhani and Dupont uh, grew stronger, saying they even visited her parents in Switzerland twice because the rapper planned to marry her. Maruhani also said if indeed the relationship was full of abuse and rape, as Dupont alleges in the Chashit, all this would not have happened because she would have easily reported him to her parents or to the police when he was in prison. The, uh, the cop also says Maruhani states in the statement that Dupont became one of his dancers and she had accompanied him to the SA Music Awards in Sun City in 2008. Late in 2009, uh, the rapper went home only to find that Dupont had packed everything and vacated their love nest. Jub Jub also shared of how uh, Dupont left a note uh, and a newspaper article which exposed his cheating shenanigans with Kumalo, according to the detective. Uh, the, police, the police officer also said this was the end of their relationship and he has not uh, heard from her ever since, according to Jub Jub. The cop said Maruhani shared in the statement that Dupont and Sibusiswe Lope, fondly known as DJ Spoo, visited him in jail and that Dupont took a picture with Maruhani. 
And according to Marokhani, uh, Dupont uh, also laid charges against him after he made uh, inappropriate remarks about that sexual relationship on McGee's show. Because for me, guys, like, it's just me. I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm just trying to make up, to make sense of the whole thing. I think uh, this woman was triggered by that, that I smashed her. Because, guys, sometimes you don't want uh, certain people to be a part of your, your history. But they'll always be. So most probably she didn't want that because she had moved on and was, was married to somebody else when this news uh, came out. And maybe she didn't even share the story with the husband. And then now it was like a shock even to the husband that, oh, so for sure you really dated that guy. So according to the stories, it says that uh, the rapper has also apologized to the pond uh, for his remarks that he made on the show. And... Uh, he said it appears to him that he had uh, never disclosed to her husband, just like I said, guys, that uh, he had a relationship with him. And Marohani also further states that he also, he, he, he drops this remarks, that he also believes that maybe the remarks that he made on a podcast and chill, maybe they also contributed to the uh, disintegration of the marriage, which I also see that way, guys. There are some people that are very sensitive to certain things. I see uh, DuPont as that kind of a woman. Uh, because if he raped or abused DuPont, uh, she would not have waited for the image show. Why did this whole thing... Uh, that I was raped come uh, after the Majis uh, show thing, guys, because it doesn't make sense even to me that's actually listening to the story. The detective also says Maruhani uh, said DuPont had many opportunities over many years to complain and noted that even, uh, even when he cheated on her, DuPont did not accuse him of rape or abuse. Maruhani, according to the detective, also said DuPont was quoted in the media saying that she was raped but denied that he was the suspect. Hey guys, hi guys, guys, it's really sad, honestly, because guys, like I said, I think this is the second time I'm doing the story. It's only that uh, it's coming right now with a different angle, because according to this, uh, DuPont says that the sister, her, young, her sister rather, was there when she was being sexually violated. Like, guys... Honestly, it continues to get like winning here. Yeah, like seriously, guys, how does your sister watch? Well, another man is actually having sex with you. Does it make sense? What, was was this a threesome thing? Like what people are saying on Twitter? Because it doesn't make sense, guys. Now it's like it's something that was planned. That okay, come you and I'll do this, and you watch a, a live show. Can we as women just do better? Honestly, it's so sad to see a boy child uh, most of the time being the one that uh, remains with the dead at the end of the day. Like, you are accused of rape, even though you didn't do it. It was something that was like agreed between the two parties because they were in love. It's like, seriously, guys, honestly, I think you should have done something better. Like, uh, uh, Amanda. Uh, we don't know. Maybe you are telling the truth, but I am um, ask myself, like, how can you let something happen to you for two full years? And hey, guys, when I was just about to wrap up this video, I found this news and uh, it says Kelly Kumalo detailed to police how she was allegedly raped and almost dumped off by her ex-boyfriend and the father of her child, Malemo Jukjuk Marukhani. Kelly Kumalo explained how uh, this happened in a series of domestic violence incidents which took place more than a decade ago. Kumalo said she fell pregnant with Maruhani's son in 2009 and moved in with the popular TV present presenter in 2010. Uh, guys, honestly speaking, the women, I don't know. How do you let a man rape you and then you move in with him? Uh, guys, honestly, let's do better. Like, guys, I don't know. I wasn't there. I cannot totally refuse and shake my head and say it didn't happen. But uh, it's not making sense right now. And uh, Kaylee to think that, uh, that your son is there. He can actually go through the social media things and see this about the father. What do you think will happen to your son? Uh, guys, please, can you stop destroying our children like that? Ah, uh, guys, I give it up. I rest it right here. Please let me know in the comment section what our thoughts are. 
remember to like share and consider subscribing i was afraid so so afraid and i'm telling the story because you know what i genuinely believe that god god allows certain things to happen your journey or the, the burdens that you face or the things that you go through they happen for a reason guys